was a normal night right before finals were about to start, and we were tired of studying for finals, and myself and two of my girlfriends, we decided to accept the invitation to go to a student-athlete party that night. So we went there, the three of us, and another friend that drove us there. We stayed for a few hours, but got tired, and as runners, we knew that we were about to get up early the next morning to go out to run, so we didn't want to go back too late. We called our friend, he came to pick us up, um, but we never got as far as into his car that night. As we walked out of that party, uh, we saw his car. It was parked right outside, right on the street next to the house. But before I knew it, suddenly another car came pulling up next to his, and suddenly I had hands grabbing me from behind, and I had a gun placed next to my head. My friends, of course, they tried to take a hold of me and tried to pull me towards them, but then the gun was placed to their head, so there was nothing they could do. They just had to let go of me. And I knew what was about to happen at that point, and I realized quickly that it was more than one person. It was actually it was three men in the van that night. They pulled me into their van, and they took off at high speed. Then um, they stripped me of my clothing right away, so I realized that they were about to rape me, and that's what they did. One at a time, two at a time, three at a time. Mm. Wow. And then the progression of this is, and thank goodness, and you were strong and immediately, you know, made calls. I know people were horrified. They, Your friends felt terrible. As you said, they wanted desperately to help you. And so people also know this, that the, the men were convicted, correct? That's right. Luckily, thanks to great, great work by Dallas PD, they were all found three days later. And two of them are in prison for life and one for 25 years. Wow. Wow. So now this happens. And to what do you decide you're going to do moving forward in your life? Exactly. Well, for me, it was, first of all, it was just to to find back to normal life. That was my first goal. I just wanted to become the happy girl that I once used to be. And, of course, that, that took a while after something like this. Your, your world has been totally turned upside down, and you have trust issues and nightmares and a lot of challenges in the aftermath. But I realized that to find back to normal, happy life, I'm the one in charge, and I have to just do whatever it takes. Um, but I had a lot of good help, family and friends that supported me through it all, and that really brought me back to a good life. Um, and I realized during my healing process that this happens all the time, every day, all over the United States, all over, all over the world. And I realized that I have to do something about this. I have a story to tell, and I just want to help other people that's been in the same situation or that met any kind of challenge in life, and that just need to see that it's possible to overcome it. So that became my mission in life, to just tell my story, share share the things that I did that I thought brought me back to normal life. So that's what I'm doing now. That's why I wrote the book, Kill the Silence, where I share my story openly and with a hope to help others in the same situation.